Welcome to another edition of Tasker 101 Tutorials. This is lesson 13B, answering a call using your proximity sensor even when your phone is in your pocket, uh, which is a really long lesson title. But if you remember from lesson 13, uh, we had a couple of profiles and tasks that basically allowed that if your phone was sitting on your desk or in a dock or anywhere out in the open, uh, you could have those active and then when your phone, uh, if someone called you, you could answer either by picking up the phone and placing it to your ear or by waving your hand over the proximity sensor to trigger the proximity sensor and answer the call. However, I mentioned in that lesson that I had spent uh, several hours trying to figure out how to make it work if your phone wasn't out in the open, if your phone was say in your pocket, and I couldn't figure it out. Uh, no matter what I did, uh, if the phone was in the pocket, it would just answer it automatically um, because it would sense a proximity sensor. So, a couple of days after I uh, recorded Lesson 13, uh, it came to me. I, I thought of an idea and I tried it out and it worked. So, that's what we're going to do. Um, now, some people have mentioned that they've gotten around the, the in-your-pocket thing by using the uh, orientation sensor. So, for example, if your phone's upside down. Um, I didn't like that solution myself because I put my phone in my pocket a million different ways. It's not always right side up or upside down or facing out or facing in. It, it ends up in my pocket a million different ways. So I wanted something that would work irregardless. That's not a word I know, but regardless of what the orientation of the phone is. And so that's what we're going to do today um, since I finally figured out a solution for that. So if you remember in the last lesson we created Wave Call which uh, would use the proximity sensor if something was close to answer a call, that being your ear or your hand. And then we created a profile ringing wave. When the phone was ringing, it turned, uh, uh, turned wave call profile on so that it could sense uh, whether something was close or not. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, new profile and we're going to call this pocket test although I need to put a 101 in front of it oh come on, don't be like that so I want to make sure I keep it differentiated alright so 101 pocket test and for this we're going to use state and the state we're going to use is sensor and we're going to use the proximity sensor. Only this time we're going to click invert. So when you check invert, what you're saying is if there is nothing close to the earpiece of my phone, um, there is no nothing uh, uh, within a close proximity. And that's it for that. So as far as what uh, uh, tasks we're going to trigger, we're going to trigger... has this little bug. You can see it keeps wanting to go back. I don't know if it's my phone or if it's Tasker, but it's very annoying. There we go. 101 wave on. So if if there is nothing close to the sensor, it's going to turn on wave call. Because we'd already set up this task previously, as you can see in ringing wave, 101 wave on. So we're going to turn that profile off and we're going to change this. We're going to go to task. We're going to create new task. 101. I'm just going to abbreviate so that it's a little bit different than the profile. 101 puck test. Gonna add an action. We're gonna click Tasker. We're gonna click Profile Status. We're gonna pull up the one that we just created, Pocket Test. We're gonna set it to on. We're gonna click Plus. We're gonna click uh, Task. We're gonna click Wait. We're gonna say 45 seconds. Action, uh, tasker, profile status, 
If you hear jingling in the background, that's my dog, who's apparently very itchy. Um, and then we're going to go to pocket test and set it off. Alright, so, so there we go, POC, POC test right there. So go back to profiles. And now we're going to change this. Um, the way you do that is you can just long press on it and select different task. And of course, POC test is pointed out since we just created it. And there we go. So now what's going to happen, the only profile that's currently on is ringing wave. So when the phone starts ringing, and only when it starts ringing, it's going to trigger POC test, which turns this profile on. When this profile is on, it's testing the proximity sensor to see if nothing is nearby, if nothing is, is nearby it. If nothing is nearby it, then it will turn on 101, it'll trigger 101 wave on, which then turns on this profile which tests to see if something is near the sensor uh, to answer the call. So basically what this is doing is when your phone rings, you turn this on. If your phone is in your pocket, then it's not going to pass this test because this is saying, is there nothing near the phone piece? Is there no nothing covering the proximity sensor? If something's covering it, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to trigger. Only when you pull it out of your pocket and then there is nothing covering the proximity sensor, then it will trigger 101 wave on, uh, which turns on wave call so that then uh, you can answer the phone call by placing the phone to your ear or waving your hand over the uh, proximity sensor. So that's the way this works. Um, and uh, I tested it and it worked great for me. So. Once you get it set up on your phone, you can test it out. Let me know if it works as well for you as it worked for me. Um, it's a little bit crazy sometimes. You would think you'd be able to do this without using three separate profiles, but sometimes you just have to do that. Uh, just depending on what the, the uh, what it is you're trying to do. Uh, some things you can do simply with one profile and several tasks or lots of actions within a task and test inside there, but just uh, with something like this, because it's a little bit complicated, we had to use three profiles, um, all which are just testing and then triggering the ultimate profile uh, to be on in order to do something. So that's it. Hopefully uh, it isn't too confusing for uh, uh, you guys and gals. And uh, if it is, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, comment below. I'll do my best to, to answer those. Um, that's it for this lesson. Uh, very excited that we actually not only created the proximity, uh, the way to answer the call with the proximity, but also figured out a way to make it, let it work for us even if the phone, our phones are in our pocket, which I think is pretty cool. Um, if you like this uh, lesson, please click the like button. Anybody you know who might be interested in this, because um, I have seen a lot of uh, things out there in different forums, people trying to figure out that in the pocket thing and, and not being able to do it. So I'm sure there are some people out there who'd love to hear about this idea and try it out for themselves. Then share the video on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Reddit. Um, all those fun ways are down there. And uh, subscribe to my channel, favorite the playlist, check out all the other stuff on my channel, Android app reviews and uh, uh, product reviews, dog product reviews, all kinds of stuff. And that is about it until next time. So have fun with Tasker.